Now, if you're like me, when you want to find a new recipe, one of the first places that you go to is Pinterest. Well, I know I do. And well, now you will have the opportunity to be a part of making the first ever Pinterest cookbook. I had the chance to speak with the chef helping to put it all together. Well, on Pinterest, there are over 5.7 billion food pins and 915 million recipe pins. It's clearly a food lover's favorite place to explore and discover new recipe inspiration. Now, Lay's Wavy Potato Chips and leading DIY destination site Brit Co. have partnered with Bravo's Top Chef winner, Chef Stephanie Iser to create recipes for the first ever Pinterest cookbook with input from you, the fans. Here with details is celebrated chef Stephanie Iser. Stephanie, welcome to the show this morning. Thank you. How are you? I'm great. Now, chef, I know that when I'm looking for a new recipe idea, I go to Pinterest. It's the first place I go. Where do you get creative inspiration for your cooking? I get it from all over. I think some of it's through taking a little time to go do some traveling, but of course I'm a little busy for that. So sometimes it's flipping through cookbooks, flipping through magazines, and of course Pinterest with so many recipes up now, it's a great place to get inspiration. Absolutely. And I think that's pretty common in this day and age that a lot of people turn to Pinterest as one of the first places they do go. Now you are partnering up with some great companies to start a very exciting new project. Will you tell us about that? Yeah, we were working on the first ever Pinterest cookbook. So the best part about it, I think, is, well, one, I get to play with chips and make lots of fun recipes, but also the fans get to participate by going and picking the inspirational photos that are going to give me unexpected flavor combinations and fun inspiration to create these recipes. Excellent. And, of course, we know you were one of the winners of a, a very important chef competition. Now, to be a winner, I have a feeling you had to use some really interesting taste combinations as well as texture. Now, what can you tell us about the dish that you prepared today that's going to be featured in the cookbook? Is that right? Yeah, I think for me in cooking, it's all about um, flavor combinations that might be a little unexpected. So when you take a bite, you're you get to think about it too while you're eating. And also the texture, I think sometimes that's a little bit lost in things. So the first recipe I made, I wanted to make it extra crunchy, extra fun. Um, we've got an oat crumble topping that has the Lay's wavy cheddar flavor in it. So something that you might not be thinking about all the time in your oat crumble topping, but for me it was inspired by apple pie when you have a bit of cheddar in the crust. So we put it on top of some apple pancakes, you can have it on top of ice cream, bake it on your muffins, put it on your yogurt in the morning, and I just like eating it out of the bowl. So it's fun. It's a little a little sweet, a little savory, and just uh, lots of flavor. Well, there's obviously lots of yummy stuff over there, and um, those are going to actually be in the cookbook. Now, can you tell us how fans and, and cooks alike can get involved in this project? Sure, they can go to Pinterest.com backslash Lay's Wavy and look at these inspirational photos. There's pictures of various dishes from deviled eggs to donuts to grits and sushi, and each one is paired up with one of the Lay's Wavy flavors from hickory barbecue to ranch to cheddar, these unexpected flavor combinations, so fans can pin their favorite ones, and the top 20 pins are going to be created into recipes. I love that. Now, Chef, tell us, how many recipes are going to be in this cookbook? The first 20 are going to come out in May, and then there'll be another 20 in the fall. So lots of different flavors going on between the two seasons. And Chef, when can we expect this cookbook to be available? It'll be available in mid-May for the first 20 recipes. Excellent. Well, Chef, I want to thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you. Now stay where you are. The Morning Blend will be right back.